Good evening, everyone. As promised, we had two seasons in one day today. What a big turnaround we had temperature-wise today. We had some icy spots, some slick surfaces here and there this morning, although not many problems at all. And temperatures near or just below freezing. Then this afternoon, it was spring fever across the valley. Now at the airport, temperatures rose from 29 at 1 a.m. to 66 at 5 p.m. Some parts of Columbiana County have been in the lower 70s this afternoon. As of this recording, at about 7.05 p.m., we're still in the mid-60s at the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna. But uh, south of 224, Columbiana 73, Lisbon 72, Calcutta, Glenmore 74 degrees. Wow. Uh, it's not quite as warm this evening up to the northern east. Now, this is still a big improvement, but Sandy Lake is 58, Mercer is 60. That's still uh, quite a change, but it's not quite the mid-70s that we're seeing in some parts of our southern viewing area. Our time lapse from today, a uh, thick bank of clouds for a time this morning. The sun broke out, temperatures rose. We had kind of a milky sky for a lot of the afternoon today with a high deck of, of clouds that are continuing to kind of hang around as we uh, go through the evening. Now, these are not productive clouds for the uh, time being. Um, pop up the radar here for you and show you that, yeah, not much is going on across the region. In fact, there's so little going on that the radar doesn't seem to want to do anything. Well, that's interesting. Off to the south, while it looks like I'm not going to be able to show you the radar, you can see how busy of an evening it is across parts of the Tennessee Valley down into Mississippi and the uh, Gulf Coast. This line that's been moving through Mississippi and Louisiana has uh, tornado warnings up and down that line. I mean, forecasters are just pulling their hair out down here trying to keep up with all these little squiggly kinks in the main line that pushes through uh, what we call QLCS tornado uh, warnings. Uh, these little kinks and uh, otherwise kind of a narrow line. There's that line right there. Finally, I got some radar data. Uh, but each one of these little kinks is indicative of some rotation and uh, possible uh, tornado. So there's been all sorts of tornado warnings with this line off to the south. Closer to home, uh, it's not severe weather in terms of severe thunderstorms, but uh, a wind advisory was issued today by the Cleveland Weather Service for most of their counties, with the exception of, for the counties they cover, Crawford, PA, Trumbull, and Mahoning in Ohio. We're splitting hairs here, though. We should treat the weather over the next 24 hours as if we were in a wind advisory because, yeah, the wind's going to be a story late tonight into tomorrow morning. Already in the pre-dawn hours, gusting over 30. I think as a lot of people head off to work and school in the morning, we're going to be trying to see some gusts of 40-plus across the area. And those 40 to even 50-mile-per-hour gusts will be a possibility throughout most of the daylight hours on Thursday. The wind will then diminish towards evening. As far as rain goes, well, grab the umbrella tomorrow morning, but you may have a hard time holding on to it. A couple of showers late tonight, and again, as a lot of us head off to work and school Thursday morning, the wind will be blowing, and there'll be a couple of rain showers around, making for an unpleasant start to the day, although it'll be very warm. Pretty close to 60 in most communities as tomorrow gets underway. Tomorrow's going to be a uh, another active severe weather day, not as active as today has been in the deep south, but the threat shifts off to the east tomorrow. East of here, no concerns about severe thunderstorms here, but in Philadelphia, D.C., Baltimore, Richmond, down towards Virginia Beach and Norfolk, and down into parts of the Carolinas as well. Uh, this will be a day that everybody needs to stay weather aware, as thunderstorms will probably erupt ahead of our cold front. This is the front that will roll through here, during the first part of the afternoon, and before the front rolls through, we'll have time to warm up a handful of degrees. Remember, we start out in the lower 60s tomorrow. It won't take much time for us to reach the middle and upper 60s before the front rolls through. It'll be chillier, certainly noticeably chillier by about 6 or 7 p.m. just before sunset than it was 5 or 6 hours earlier. And in the wake of this front, eventually it'll be cold enough that, yes, as this trough of low pressure pivots through on Friday, as early as late Thursday night, really. I think there'll be some snowflakes here and there. This isn't going to stick to anything, it looks like. But yeah, some snowflakes, some flurries, gusty breezes, wind chills on Friday. Mostly in the 20s. Clear sky then Friday night, Saturday morning. Clouds will increase again. As we go into Saturday afternoon, this next week system might produce some rain showers on Sunday. Interesting 8-14 to 14 day outlook today from the Climate Prediction Center. Now this may make you think that the whole first half of April will be pretty chilly, right? Well, this 8 to 14 day outlook, I think these blues are definitely more weighted towards the beginning of the outlook. Uh, there's been some model trends in the last day or two 
that as we head towards mid-April, around you know day 13, day 14 of this outlook, a milder regime will try to build into the eastern U.S. So this period, this kind of April 7th through, say, the 15th or 14th, may start chilly but end quite a bit milder. So there is some hope that you know spring will visit us for more than a day or two at a time as we go into the middle of April. But until then, yeah, we're going to see some pretty legit chilly shots, it looks like, through at least the first 10 days of the month. Thanks for watching tonight's weather for Weather Geeks. Again, I'm working on access to my Facebook page. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and on Twitter to stay up with my latest posts. And I will see you back here on Thursday.